Hi, this is James from Tracy and Matt, Dr. Code, you can from Boxings.com, and we're here with the uh, the Motorola Razor that's been sent over to us by uh, by Clove. So we're just going to do a quick sort of uh, hands-on with the uh, device. We look at the uh, hardware and also the software. So if we start over on the left-hand side, we've got a little port there which uh, has got a cover on it, and that's where we put. It looks like we put the. Uh, it looks like the SIM and the like USB. Micro USB, micro SD card going there. Um, the battery obviously back cover doesn't come off on this thing, I don't think, which is a bit of a shame. So no replaceable battery. Um, over on the right, we've got some volume controls, and uh, we've got our screen on and off button. On the top, we've got our micro USB. We've got an HDMI port, which is nice, and we've got our uh, headset jack. Nothing on the bottom. And over on the back, we have our uh, camera lens, camera flash. There's a speaker grill. Um, little microphone at the bottom there and there's also one at the front as well right at the base um, we've also got a uh, front facing camera at the front speaker grill and then obviously at the bottom under the screen we've got our uh, our four keys so uh, if we uh, just switch this on this thing's already up and running and connected to my Google account and Wi-Fi all that palaver uh, in terms of um, software this thing is um, it's only running uh, Android 2.3, which is a bit of a shame. Um, oh, look, there's me. Um, yeah, it'd be nice if this gets an update uh, to 4.0 fairly soon, whether it will or not. I've got absolutely no idea, to be honest with you. But uh, we've obviously got the the, the, the motor blur interface uh, over the top of Android here, which uh, it isn't too bad, but not everyone's a cup of tea. So, as you can see, out of the box, it comes with a load of apps already on the home screen. Um, as you would expect, you can add new shortcuts, widgets. Um, yeah, some of them are nice, some of them are not so good, but uh, that's always the way. So down at the bottom, as I say, we've got the four buttons. Um, obviously, we've got a home button. Pressing that will give you kind of similar to HDC's Leap View, but not as nice, where you can just jump to the pane that you want, um, holding down the... Uh, uh, search key obviously enables voice search and uh, if we hold down the um, home key we can see the the apps that are running um, as you can see here I've, the, I've installed Swift Key which is my keyboard uh, of, of choice by default once I turn this on it had swipe installed but I'm not a huge fan of that to tell you the truth uh, obviously notifications oops how did I turn the camera on obviously notifications uh, will be seen at the top there as you can see and let's jump into the main menu and just have a look what we get uh, straight out of the box. So we've got accounts, alarm and timer, Amazon Kindle, we've got the browser, let's take a look at that. Um, See, that seems to load pretty quickly actually. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, calculator calendar camera. Let's have a quick look at the uh, camera interface. Perhaps we to take a photo of. As you can see, we've obviously got lots of uh, setting options at the uh, at the bottom of the screen there. We can get rid of those. We can switch to the front camera and uh, also switch to the video camera. Okay, we've got download email. We've got Evernote pre installed, which is quite nice. Uh, flash Gmail, go to me. Hop shoot the game. Um, map and type stuff. We've got some Motorola sort of bloatware on there as well. Maybe a hotspot. I'm um, just looking to see if there's anything that's particularly exciting. And it doesn't seem to be. It's all fairly, uh, all fairly standard stuff. Um, 
it's not too bad, I suppose. The screen on this thing is a Super AMOLED, um, and it's size wise, it's 4.3 inches, um, 540 by 960 pixels, so not too bad. We've got the Gorilla Glass on there as well. Um, what else do we get? We get 16 gigabytes of um, onboard storage with this thing. That camera on the back that I mentioned, that's an 8 megapixel uh, autofocus, flashes an LED, and it will record video in. Uh, in full HD, which I suppose is a bonus. I think that I think the, the the main sort of downside to this thing is the fact that it's still running Android 2.3. Um, you know, we need to get this up to to ice cream sandwich for it to be a um, a real contender. But uh, yeah, if you're a motor Motorola fan, this one this one may well do. It's not a bad feeling handset. So um, yeah, I think we'll probably do a full review of this over on the site, and that'll be coming up in the uh, the next few weeks. So uh, stay tuned. I'll catch you later.